I do actually get regular massages when I can, when, I, when, I, when I'm about the place on the road and stuff. For my little scrotal neck, I like a massage. <laughs> and, but it can be a bit hit and miss when you're touring massages, because sometimes, I was in Canberra and uh, I saw her, I saw her, did you hear that? I was in Canberra. <laughs> I take it, I'm a very heavy guy. I was in Canberra. Oh, trampoline. Wow! Got stuck in the springs. I was in Canberra and I went for a massage. I saw this sh uh, advertisement in a shop window and, uh, and it was like for a guy for a massage. And I, I, was, it was like, I was only there for a day. So I called him and said, oh, dude, can you fit me in? He goes, oh, I'm about to close. I'm like, I'm only here for a day. And he goes, all right, I'll stay open. I'll stay open. <laughs> Made a big deal out of it. So I rocked up at his house and uh, it was at his house. And um, it was like a little gate and I went through. This bit of the story is not interesting. I don't know what I'm telling you, but this is how I got there. <laughs> and I went in and... The first thing that struck me about this dude was his amazing skin condition, I guess you'd call it, which resulted in him having these little red crusty scabs on his face and hands! <laughs> now normally I'd just say, oh shit, I didn't realise he had the plague and fucking run. <laughs> but he'd stayed open, he'd stayed open and I felt really bad so I found myself stripped down to my underpants, laying there just tensing every muscle in my body while he exfoliated me with his crusty hand lesions. <laughs> How's that? Mm. Mm. And I asked him how long he'd been doing massage and he said, eight years. Don't you think in all that time someone would have taken him aside and gone, dude, massage, really? Why not all the lesions? Or well, the person who trained him. If I ran a school of natural therapies and a guy rocked up on enrolment day with his face falling off like potato crisps, <laughs> I'd think about giving him some alternate career advice. Um, or you could be an apiarist. <laughs> What's that? It's a beekeeper. You wear a mask, some gloves. No, no, no. Uh, you could... But competition fencing? Competition fencing? No, no. Uh. Oh, here's one. You could be king of the lepers. LAUGHTER 